It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079 and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your foe, B, huh? Radio shouting, stepping in the building. I got a young gunner in this thing that's tearing up the radio as we speak. 24 hours. What's good with it, my dog? What's up with you, man? I'm so happy to be here, man. Man, I'm, I'm glad, glad I'm to glad. have you. I'm glad you had. I'm glad you reached out to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm glad. I was like, oh, yeah, we can't. You know, it's crazy. Usually, when stuff like that happened, I'd be like, oh, man, this is a lot. I got to connect this person yeah. with this person. I, but I took my time, made yeah. sure. I, but I, when I send an email and CC yeah. something, it's like, okay, this real. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, when I heard that joint, though, man, I mean, what you like, I knew that it was also real, man. Yeah. Talk to me about that banger and having that song take off like it has. Man, it, I guess it's just, you know. I guess it's happening right now, so I don't really see it like that. But yeah. I know they just said we like 24 in the country, so like mm. that's like pretty up there, like almost about to hit the top 20. So that's right. Uh, I'm just blessed. Like I couldn't ask for, I couldn't ask for much more right now in my life than yeah. like the way God's steering me right exactly. now. So I'm just, I'm just everything that come to me. I'm still hungry. Like the very first day I stepped into this building, and, and I'm working hard. Yes, sir. I mean, talk to me about that creative process, though, man. I mean, when you were recording that joint, did you know that that was going to be the one that was going to take you out of here, man? Nah. I yeah. was speaking like uh, Hit Boy produced a beat, and mm. I was um, I was in the studio with him, and he would be in the A room, and we had a B room, and he kept walking back in, and I had my engineer, and I really freestyled it. Uh. Like, I really freestyled the hook and then, like, yeah. penciled the verse together. But I was just like, when I talked to Hit Boy, I'm like, man, you did niggas in Paris. You did all these huge records. Like if we do one, our first one got to be big. Exactly. And, and now it's 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 there. <laughs> Oof. I mean, talk to me about the grind though. Twenty four. I mean, all of the music that you've been recording leading up to this point though. Man, um, you know it go back years. It, yeah. It go back years. You know before I was even twenty four hours going under Royce Rizzi and like yeah. putting in work. Like I mean. It's a constant grind. It's like everything. Like I seen you up here for a while. Yeah. You've been here grinding. Exactly. And doing your thing. And it's like we only get better with time and, and and we we get a lot more knowledge and a lot more wisdom. I feel like this is my first hit single, but I feel like I'm like already equipped for what it comes with. And I'm yeah. just I'm just I'm just bracing myself and yeah. like getting the next song exactly. loaded up. You hear me? Now I mean talk about Switching it up from Royce Rizzi to 24 Hours. I mean, what was it that made you pull the Titty Boy Two Chains, man? <laughs> uh, I just, I just wanted another shot. I wanted yeah. a second chance because I felt like Rizzi didn't get to, I didn't get to the level that I, I, I thought I could be or where I should be. Yeah. And you know, after taking the break and helping my brother and putting Tokyo to to where he's at, and, and shout out to Tokyo, his project dropping what in two days or a day or so, yeah, a couple of days, and you know y'all supported Uber everywhere, y'all yeah. supported I want skateboard P like, and and he he got a lot coming, but I feel like when when I saw that when I saw that I knew what it took to get that and when we could do that I'm like man it's time for me to switch it up and take mm -hmm. another shot at it where I ain't got to worry about you know like I know I know what to do we just did it. Exactly. Just did, I just got a plaque that say over a million sold. Like, Ooh. like we did it. So now it's time. Like, all right, let me rebrand myself and hop back out and do it again. And we here. What was it like putting your brother in the game, man, and being able to keep it as a family unit in this industry, though? It was tough because, like, you know, from the beginning, it's easy now. But from from the beginning, it's like I know how, I know how, I know how down is ups and downs in the game, and I know. What it it cause you know I went through a time where I was sitting there like depressed and not knowing like what to do like I'm in a major deal and things just not going right so I never wanted that for him so yeah like with that I'm like yo we could do this but like you just gotta be ready and you gotta listen to me if you listen to me and you're ready for it the sky's the limit exactly. and now you know Tokyo famous he's a superstar <laughs> exactly what was that like for you though man when you got that first major deal and stepping into the game with that and then it turning out not to be everything that you expected it man when I first signed them papers uh for my first deal yeah I did a management deal with JD with Jermaine Dupree. Yeah. And I remember when I signed it, I popped the champagne. Shit was lit. <laughs> like it was lit. Like, don't get me wrong. I seen I seen I seen so much stuff with JD and running around the world and doing all that. Mm -hmm. Um, for that time frame that we was together that like I just took a lot of experiences and, and seeing a lot of ups and saw stuff and 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 took it and applied it to what I'm trying to do mm -hmm. and how I'm trying to do it. I don't do things like him, but like 
know what I'm saying? I saw how that worked, and I saw how this didn't work, and I saw how treat this person. I saw how you don't treat this person. So this time around with me mm-hmm. and being a boss and, and got artists signed under me and Tokyo successful and, and it's like, bro, I ain't about to do no childish. I, I, I ain't moving like that. I ain't about to let no money go. Exactly. Like, I ain't missing out on nothing. <laughs> I mean, what advice do you got for other folks though, man? Because see, a lot of folks, they experience the ups and the downs, but then when they go down, they don't come back up. I, I, I advise you this, if it's early in your career and you starting out, just treat everybody how you want to be treated. And see, the thing about that is we've been taught that since you was two, three, four, and five years old. When you are playing with your brother and you take the toy from him and your mom be like, treat your brother how you want to be treated. <laughs> you was taught that, but as adults, we don't look at that. But it's like, really, if I come in here and treat me, how, if I treat you how I want to be treated, exactly. when I text you and be like, hey, man, can I bring, I got a new artist and I want him to come and do it. So guess what? You're like, that's my partner. Like, exactly. yes. Like, maybe maybe this is a little too early for this person to come yeah. through. But that's my partner and I'm going to look out you for him. And then, out. and then guess what? When you hit me, you be like, hey, man, kind of got this thing going on. I'm going to treat you like you treat exactly. me. And, 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 and that's how people get far. So when you go up, mm-hmm. when it's time to come down, when it's time for me to come down and I holler at you and be like, hey, now, I know, you know, I, I'm not oblivious. I'm not tripping to what's going on, but <laughs> I need your help. It's yep. going to be like, you know what? When you was coming up, like, you ain't do nothing but show me love. So make exactly. sure you show love to everybody on the come up. So when you come down, they hold you up a little bit. They ain't going to let you fall. Exactly. The people you treated crazy going to step out the way and watch you hit the ground and be like, hello. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you were speaking some facts tonight, 24, <laughs> because a lot of folks don't understand those core values that equals success in this industry. You see what I'm saying? I feel you. Because from this standpoint, I've seen a lot of folks come and go. You see what I'm saying? I done helped a lot of folks get on. I done seen them blow up. And uh, I was just talking to Gip the other night, and he broke it down. He said the time at the top is a lot shorter than the time it took to get there. You see what I'm saying? And the way back That's down crazy. is even longer than the time it took to get there. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So for you now... Being able to boss up, how do you feel being a boss in your own right, being able to put your brother in the game and yourself in the game and new artists? I just feel I just feel humble and I'm happy to still be around. Like I I moved to Atlanta in two thousand nine. Mm-hmm. I was I was running with Scrappy and, and yeah. DTP and like doing all this stuff as Royce Rizzy. I, I kinda moved from that, mm-hmm. signed a deal with J D did the management deal. Then JD signed me to RCA. We did the big record deal. Mm. Then, you know what I'm saying, shout out to JD. You know, we we went different ways, but he saluted me on what I'm trying to do, and I got from that. Then I started my own label, mm. and it's like, it ain't overnight, so when people hear what you like, it's like, but I remember being in these stations when there's people that's here wasn't even here. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, I've been in these stations since uh, I'm 26 now. Yeah. I was coming to these stations when I was 19, 20. Woo. I was over at the other stations in Atlanta yep. going in there. They done, the person that was over at this station over here now, this person <laughs> exactly. like, I, but I guess what? They all be like, nah, nah, nah. You've been putting in work for a minute. So yep. it's like, guess what? That's 2009. It's 17 now. Mm-hmm. How many years did it take for me to finally get a top 20 song? Yeah. So it's like, bro, you just because you've been working for three years and we ain't ever played your record up here, mm-hmm. calm down. Be patient, <laughs> work harder, and put it in. If, you, if you're if you not willing to go 10 before you make it, you mm. might not make it. Yeah. Because it take longer to get in, like you just said, that exactly. you're going to be at the top. Some of these guys that kind of get, and guess what? It's not every, there's somebody listening like, well, nah, my boy put his song out and he just came up. Guess what? Tokyo put Uber out and it, just, and it blew up. Mm. But guess what? Tokyo's my blood, brother. I just worked 10 years. So how how Uber blew up, it's you like I seen, I seen this. There was people that I text when it was coming up like, yo, I know you in Vegas. Can you play this? I know you here. Oh, oh. Like he was able to have somebody, he blessed enough to have somebody that's seen it where it's like, no, don't say that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Fathers, listen to me. Where some of these new guys do have a song and they have blown up. And 10 years from now, let's sit down and have a talk and see what happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and it's, what's your end goal with this? Mm-hmm. Like, my end goal, my end goal, not music. Sheesh. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, man. J.I. Crick is holla at me. I'm trying <laughs> to open one up in L.A. Holla at me. Like, I ain't trying, I'm trying to open a 24-hour barbershop. Yeah. I'm trying to get this money elsewhere because, like, it's like we got to make money in our sleep. So yeah. when, when they do a 360, when the world changes and people ain't streaming no more because they was buying at one time mm-hmm. and now they streaming, and when they go to something else, and you just can't keep up with the time. What you got? What you got? Come on, you had, you open a business. What you do with that money when you got it? Mm-hmm. Did you go get your new chain that shines? 
that as soon as they placed them diamonds in the chain, it depreciated? Mm -hmm. Or did you open up a business? To keep the party going. Did you open up a business? Did you did you put other people on? Mm -hmm. Did you like like what did you do where the investment is gonna come back to you in the long run? Did you did you plant a seed? Did you just put some money up and act like it ain't never been there? Go buy a property. Go 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 buy some property and let it sit for twenty years and then in that area the real estate run up and you sell it for one point nine million. Come on now. Come on. Come, come on. on. And guess what? Real estate might not be. Go buy 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 some art, man. Buy some art. Tokyo just told me, man, I just bought this art. It's worth five thousand, but they told me if I hold this for three, four years, it's gonna go up to the like. Come on, Ooh. man, like let's buy some things. If you gonna buy jewelry, buy jewelry that 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 means something. Get you a Rolex with the papers. Exactly. So when it's time to trade it and sell it, you got some money. Come on now. Like so, it's like you can't you can't learn that from putting out a song and wanting to be like the people on TV. You gotta go through it. Yeah. You gotta go through it and sit with some of these people where they look at you and be like, oh, that's how you thought I had it. <laughs> That's crazy, cause I was just like you trying to get it. Mm -hmm. I, I was I was just like me sitting with JD. I think JD was telling me like uh, uh, he was talking to somebody, and I just overheard it. He was like, "Yeah, man, Ludacris done threw CDs over my yard before." Like this this back in the gap. Like you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you look at Ludacris, I see him on Fear Factor. It's like everybody needed somebody to get somewhere. <laughs> so it's like put in the work. Put God before everybody. Keep your tight family. Cut off the dead weight. You're going to get dead weight. Yeah. You're going to get dead weight where you realize like they wanted you to fake win and it wasn't there. But cool. Don't get mad. Acknowledge it. Cut it off and keep on moving. Exactly. Build your team. Keep God first and work hard. And guess what? If it's just, if you're lucky enough, because it's not even good enough just to do that. If you're lucky enough in your cards, if this was supposed to happen in your cards and you do all of the following... <laughs> and it's in your cards, you just might have a shot. Come on now. <laughs> now, 24, before you touched down in the A, what were you living and what were you doing for it, man? I was uh before I lived in the A, uh, I was living in Japan. Oh. My, my dad was in the military, so uh he did 30 years retired. Like, shout out to him. Yeah. He was living in the military, and me and my brother, that's why Tokyo's name made in Tokyo. Yeah. Because, like, you know, that's that's where he learned a lot of his first stuff. So I was living over there and um Doing my thing and and my manager, uh shout out to Steve. He he out here in Atlanta right now. Mm -hmm. He was managing me, but he was, you know, booking artists and he was booking uh DJs from Atlanta to come out there. I met I met Drama for the first time yeah. in, in Japan. Mm. I met DJ Jelly for the first time in Japan. I met DJ Hot Sauce in Japan. Like That's I met dope. all of these guys in Japan when I was growing up because yeah. my manager used to book them over there, so I would open up for them. So like Jelly remember me at fifteen where yeah. I'm driving the car on the other side of the street exactly. where Jelly's like, yo, excuse me, sir, you know how to drive? Like, yeah. who who they got? You know what I'm saying? I almost wrecked. Shout out to Jelly, Atlanta legend. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But that was that was my past. And, and yeah. I moved to Atlanta. Moved to Atlanta in 2009. And um, I moved out of Atlanta in 15. Yeah. And moved to L.A. Mm. Uber everywhere. Start taking off big over there. Like, we did a show out here in Atlanta. People kind of just stood around. But they knew the song. And we literally three days later we went to LA and did the show and everybody was screaming the words and me and Tokyo was like, We out. Mm. We out. <laughs> they showing love. Like what, what, what are we supposed to do? Sit here where there was no love? You know what I'm saying? And now it's love, but it's like it take a this this is a tougher crowd out here. Yeah. Because yeah. you was doing your we was doing the show right there, right around the corner at the masquerade, they got thug. And mm. right around the corner at the same time, it's a free Migo show. So like at that point it's like Yo, if yeah, people really, you, you know what I'm saying, and, and that's just that's just what it was. Um, but I mean, I'm just at the end of the day, man. Like, all, all honesty, I'm just blessed to be alive, and yeah. be here. Like, made it to 26, made it to be here. I got I got people around me that all believe in me. Mm -hmm. My brother believes in me. I believe in him. My parents is healthy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like. Um, I got a new nephew. Tokyo had a son. Congratulations. You feel me? Like, yeah. like I'm not out here young no more. Like, I'm married. Like, I got I got everything, like, right now. I'm looking for... I feel old, but I'm looking for houses. Mm, you got to have that property, I'm, 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 I'm looking for houses. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for cars. I'm looking for businesses. I'm trying to do this. So it's like... this is, And this is my first song. Mm. I, I God forbid if I would have had my first song five years ago, I don't know if my mind would have been right here. Uh, now that my mind is here and this is my first song, it's like, oh, let's go. I got the I got the shot just like anybody else got and, and and I'm loaded. I know, I know, I know what's wrong. I know my right from wrong. Yeah. So I know, I know. Like I know if anything ever happened, uh and I'm not around uh 
B, you should be like, he knows better. He exactly. told me he knows better. I exactly. know, I know from better. having a conversation exactly. with him, I know he knows, knows better. better. So you ain't going to see that. You yeah. ain't going to see that because the, nah. my, my own mama going to be like, he know better. You feel me? Now, take me back to Japan with it, though, man. What was going through your mind when you were in the middle of Japan trying to grow up and, I mean, experience things? Um... You know, the high school was cool because, like, the high school was, like, a lot of American kids because their parents was in the military. So okay. it was people from Duval, Orlando, all mm-hmm. types of spots. So, I mean, it was a mixing pot, though, because you got people from Cali. Mm-hmm. You got people everywhere. But um, when I graduated is when I started getting busy in the streets. And, like, mm-hmm. I was selling tickets for Lil John shows over there. Yeah. I opened up for John. I opened up for E-40 and Too Short. I remember I was helped. Shout out to B.O.B. And, and T.J. and B. Rich and them. They was over there. I was looking out for them while they was there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. that's like, that. that t- these are stories where, like, T.J. would sit right here and be like, yeah, I met him in Japan, and I was wondering what he was doing in Japan. Yeah. And, and B.O.B. was there. That was beautiful. Girls was huge. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is me in Japan in high school. This is me young, like, getting whatever anybody needed in Japan. I was the plug. Yeah. So an artist touched down. Uh, stay fresh, you know, stay fresh. Yeah, stay no fresh should call me yeah. through Skype and yeah. be like, listen, BOB's landing. You know mm-hmm. what you got to get them. They need this, they need this. And I get on the train, I go make sure whoever's straight coming over there. Mm-hmm. E 40 was over there. The game, Trey Songs, like, Soldier, everybody came over there and I got a chance to meet them. Juicy J, shout out to Juicy J. Listen, 3 Six Mafia was over there. This is a real story. I never said this on no interview. Yeah. 3 Six Mafia was over there. And the promoter, it wasn't my manager at the time, so he was player hating on me. Like he was like, <laughs> "Yo, yo, like give them some space, give give uh, DJ Paul and Juicy J some space, cause you opening up, you know what I'm saying? But like let them breathe." And I remember uh, Juicy was like, "Well, why are you over there?" And I'm like, "Cause the promoter was like, give y'all some space." And and I never forget the Juicy put his hand around me and was like, "Yo, he's with us. Like there's no fun without. If he's not here, yeah. he's with." That promoter was so heated, like. Juicy and them had like a three-day tour. I went on it with them, him and DJ Paul. Come on now. Uh, they, they had sold out this spot called the Ebusu Liquid Lounge. just uh-huh. somewhere in Tokyo. And they was on stage and they was performing, I Gotta Stay Fly. Juice came and grabbed me from the side and gave me the mic, like, perform. Till you fast forward to 11, 10 years later, and Juicy texting me right now, like, where you at? Where you, you in L.A.? We, we, you know what I'm saying? Cold. We dropped the song. like, And he can he can test it. He can be like, yeah, I met him in Japan when mm-hmm. he was like a young boy. like six, I'm 26, but guess what? That was 16. Yeah. So it's like, come on. Like, it's destined. It, it got to happen. But situations like that, man, when it happens to you so young, how did that impact you going forward in your own personal career? I think career? that's why I'm here. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I'm here because, like, when I moved to Atlanta for the first time, I wasn't new to, like, seeing nobody yeah. or doing nothing. It was like, man, I was just performing with Juicy J, like, two months ago over here. And before him, the game was here. And before him, Trey Songs was here. And before him, Fab did a show here. Yeah. And then there was Zep Tokyo and Pharrell was here. And, like, I, I was... I was used to that point, but I wanted to learn the game. Mm-hmm. I wanted to learn the business. I knew how to perform and sell tickets, but I wanted to learn the business. So I had to come here and like fall. I had to fall on my. I had to fall on my face. I fell on my face around people that knew the business that just didn't take the time to give me the game. So I had to fall. I had to fall to get up and yep. realize like, dirt your face off like. Come back and try again. Exactly. Guess what? Lose the fight. Come back and try again. I kept. Right. I kept. I was up here, premiering my songs, battlegrounds, having all my homies <laughs> in my phone book call up here and do this for the song to play for a week and not hear it again. Mm. And it's like now they're telling me, yeah, man, like you know what I'm saying. Like by next week it's gonna be even higher. You at 24 on the Billboard, mm. and this is this, and it's like, guess what? Ten years, I feel like well deserved. Damn I feel like right. you know what I'm saying. So even with Tokyo, where to the new school and to the new generation, where I'd be like, I mean, you got some more work to put in. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Tokyo is like my right hand man. So even when I was coming up out here, Tokyo would come in the room and be a fly on the wall and just watch. He wasn't even rapping, yeah. just watch. But I got my brother back. Yeah. If he walk out the room and I hear somebody talk about him, when he come back in, hey, bro, exactly. like that, that was him. Yeah. That was him. Or nah, bro, don't like trust me. Mm-hmm. Just trust me. Like they don't care. They don't yeah. care about you. Trust me. So now he deserves everything because he was there just being real with me yeah. and got a chance to see me. Guess what? Being eight years in and nothing happening where I thought it was going to happen and then him winning, guess what? I told God one night I was praying. I was like, if I don't ever go as bigger than I ever got, if Royce Rizzi is it, I'm 
thankful that Tokyo exactly. booked because I worked hard for it. And I always thought one day, like, is this work ever going to pay off? Come on, man. Like, is it ever, like, doing what I did, waiting outside the club for people to come get me in because I can't get in Gold Room because I'm 18. Mm. Or I can't get into Kamal's 21 because I'm too young and Don Juan trying to figure out how to get me in. Yeah. And, or, 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 or. or Live mixtapes is lit at the time, and I'm trying to figure out how to get to the top. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Let's go in magic every night, and it's mm. like, I'm too young to get in, but Escola, I got the record, I'm a player, you just got to figure out how to get in. Mm -hmm. Like, all of that work, when people would sleep, guess what? Tokyo ain't did that work yet, yeah. but he got a different job. God yeah. gave him a different job. Now that he's in the game, and he's here, and it's solidified to here, yeah. he got to stay here. He got to show that he could stay here. Exactly. Me. That whole work and go outside in the rain and stand out there with Tigo and put your own posters come on, up. Now. Come on, come on, me, <laughs> me, me and Tigo Alvarez printing out posters together while he putting up street as he putting up Rizzy over mm -hmm. here. I know what that feels like to give my last hundred to that. Yeah. Then still got the ten and the sock drawer. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go. We gonna do that on. I'm, I'm put more money into the music than my stomach. Exactly. So it's like with that, it's like when people tell me certain things or we do certain things, it's like. But I know, like, mm -hmm. I know the struggle. Yeah. And it's a bigger struggle once you get in because now it turns Hollywood and weird and all this stuff. But I know the real ground struggle of an artist being a, 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 a young black artist with no money, with a dream, a hope in a dream, trying to get heard. I know what yep. that feels like. So when someone tells me, oh, bro, you Hollywood, you know this, like, nigga, <laughs> I just, to be honest, I deserve to be Hollywood. Exactly. Like, like what are you, like, you, you got this project that you put out and I see you've been doing your music for six months, like, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It can be better. Now, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the me being strict with you, but like, the nice me is like, yo, I'm actually still gonna listen to this. Mm -hmm. And if I like it, maybe I'm gonna throw you a bone or something or we gonna work on something because I'm really nice like that. But yeah. it's like, sometimes, you got to let someone know, like, yeah, it's not my first day. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I get you. And I know this is a new location. We done opened up in Buckhead. Exactly. I was working down the street for about 15 years, you know oh what I'm saying? God. Yes, sir. Talk to me about taking the party to L.A., though, man. What was that transition like, coming from the A, going to L.A., and I mean, LA bigger city? L.A. different, man. It'll break you. If you, you know, I was, this is real talk, so if, if J.D. listening to this, one day I was, uh, I was in the studio and I told JD I'm gonna move to LA and he was like, No, don't move to LA. LA's for LA's a city where you're established. Mm. Like you don't go to like Atlanta, we give you all the opportunity yeah. to go do showcases and yeah. independent this and go to Apache and go yeah. do this. But in LA you're either on or not on. You know what I'm saying? I move, you know what I'm saying? And I remember I was talking to Bow, and Bow was like, Go, go, who cares? You're young, go. Yeah. And I still didn't go because I was listening to JD at that time. So when Uber when we fast forward and Uber start taking off and, you know what I'm saying, Kylie Jenner posted Snapchats with Uber mm. everywhere and uh, Tokyo selling out shows out in L.A., it was like, come on, well, let's just go put our vibe out in Cali. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention, guess what? It's expensive out there. I've been looking at real estate in Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when you get to a point where you travel so much anyway, you can live wherever. It don't yeah. matter. Like, I was in Atlanta for work. Yeah. When I lived, because I'm not from Atlanta, I wasn't born. My pops was born in Savannah, Georgia. Mm. My grandpa was, uh, I want to say he's born in Atlanta. He lived in Stone Mountain. He from Atlanta. But like me, with being in the military, my pops moved around. I came to Atlanta because I had an opportunity and I mm. took it. But I love Atlanta. Yeah. I've been in Atlanta for a few a few different transitions that happened out here. You know exactly. what I mean? So I, I see I seen a lot here. And the real estate is cheap too. Well, you get you something like twenty thousand out now. here, man. Come Stop on playing. Now. <laughs> now going forward though, man, because see I know that you write and produce also. Mm -hmm. So what is that like when you breaking down with the creative process with different artists and stuff like that, writing and producing? Um the writing I just gotta do me. Like the producing the production side is like I love finding producers, like, and signing producers and, like, building our craft with, like, creating a whole sound. So, like, you know, like, I recently, I had signed a producer not too long ago that um, that that is shining and doing his thing. And uh, he produced a song with me and Gucci, man, mm -hmm. and he just did his first pub deal. And, like, I seen him go from not having no money to, like, doing his first pub deal and seeing six figures, like, seeing some money. On, you know man. what I mean? So, and then on the writing side, I've been writing for years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been in Atlanta right here on Hot Beats. Like, you feel me? Right? And then doing hooks for people and doing stuff. So now it's like at the professional level where, yo, we got Rihanna album. Yo, we got this person working on album. Yo, Ty's working on the album. This person, do you got anything that might fit their vibe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll send like five, six hooks over. 
And sometimes they like them and sometimes they don't. But um, it's a whole nother business. That's a whole nother entity. I just did a pub deal not too long ago where, you know, if you don't know what that means and it's like with the publishing deal, like, do you, I don't have the time to break it down, but do your research on it. And it's like, that's a whole nother job in its own. Yeah. There's writers out here that's writing these hit songs that you'll walk by right in Linux Mall because you ain't know. Ain't got no and you'll clue. walk right by them and they in flip flops and everything. And yeah. they check is very right. Exactly. Because because it ain't about it ain't about all that, man. It's like like I love like I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. I love like like being a fat fly nigga. Like yeah. I love shopping. I love buying expensive <laughs> shit. I love being able to buy stuff that I couldn't buy when niggas used to laugh at me. Yeah. I love doing that. But I also like helping people. And I also like looking at my money and knowing like I'm I'm on I'm I'm on phone I'm phone phone calls at two AM about money with business accounts. Is I'm I'm very aware. Mm-hmm. I'm very aware of a lot. Oh, so man. it's like I could do that, but at the same time, I'm not no dummy. Like like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you got to do. It's not bad to buy watches. I bought this gold watch, like, <laughs> and all this gold and and, 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 and all the stuff that I got on mm-hmm. with the money that I work for. But at the same time, if somebody would be like, is your bills paid? Yes. Of course. Is my mama straight? Yes. Just of gave course. my pop 20000 Yeah. Like, like, and, and that, this is real on, on my nephew. It's yeah. like, yes, you got to take care of business before you can really, like, enjoy what you got going on. Come on now. Hello. So yeah. now going forward, what do you got coming up next, man? Hey, man, I, I, I'm about to drop a street tape just because, like, all the stuff I've been putting out, you know, people been getting on Spotify. I dropped the EP. The single's doing good. I'm about to drop this tape called 12 a.m. in Atlanta with uh, mm. Drama. It's a Gangsta Grill. Oh, that's going to be yeah. cold. <laughs> Shout out Drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we about to, and we about to run with it. And yeah. um, it's just going to be something to hold people over until what you like reach where it's going to go. And then we're going to. Talk about the album and Ty Dolla Sign's executive producing the album, so that's that, that's crazy right now. Yeah, talk to me about just networking throughout the industry, though, man. Because see, a lot of folks don't even know how to network. Then also, when you're dealing with a lot of snakes and just crazy folks that's trying to jug you, you got to shake them all. You got to shake all their hands. Yeah, and you you get you get a um. I, I was just texting one of my artists right now, and it's like, yo, I hate fake people, and I hate this. I said, I do too. But guess what? There's always going to be one or two of them right there in front of me, mm-hmm. right there in the car with me. There's always going to be somebody with the alternate agenda. It's uh. always going to be somebody. It's going to be somebody at the label. It's like, yo, I can't stand him. His song's number one. I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. Guess what? I'm walking in and I'm dapping him up. Like, what up, bro? Mm-hmm. Because like I can't put my feelings on the table. Exactly. Why, why show you my cards? Mm-hmm. I already know you don't like me. I already know that you think like I shouldn't be here. I already know that you think like the other artists should get it. I'm, that's not going to make me change on you. That's going to mm-hmm. make me ev- actually keep you a little closer and have you right where I want you. That's right. And you got to learn how, like, okay, this person's really for me. This person's not for me, but can he help me? Is there anything that I can use? And not using somebody, but it's like you got to figure out what works with you. Exactly. Guess what? Somebody might not like how I carry myself, mm-hmm. but guess what? Somebody's boss told them he's coming into the station today. <laughs> he got an interview. What you going to disrespect me? I mean, no. Somebody going to pull up, sit there, and do their job. And then mm-hmm. when I talk to them, it might be like, I thought I didn't like you from, like, your Instagram or something. But, like, now I'm sitting here talking to you man to man. Like, I, I, I rock with you. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you don't know who not going to support you. It's somebody looking at Made in Tokyo like, who is this? Like, Tokyo? Like, what is this? Yeah. Don't, who cares? You on the cover of Double XL. You you back to back singles, not a one hit wonder. Come on, like man. like like you you're not getting under a certain amount for a show. Your son's healthy. You got a house in L. A. Taking care of a whole label. Mm. Like like what are you talking about? Just because your dog put up on you with all this ice that he can't take back. Tell him to tell him. Ask him who his business account is. Mm. What business account? Is? His Louis wallet. Like it ain't the same. So it's <laughs> like, bro, you got you got you you gotta like. You just got to, you know, it is what you're going to go through it and you going it's going it's going to get there and it's like it's it when it's time mm-hmm. there won't be nothing there won't be any like I'm not sure you're going to be like bro the stars are aligning the way exactly. it feels the way it feels like I'm I'm coming back from Greensboro coming to Atlanta and like I see different I see people in San Diego people in Miami mm-hmm. somebody in Miami they just played you on 99 Jam somewhere in San Diego like you're on the stage somebody in LA Call me Gotti on the phone. Gotti got one of the biggest singles out right now. Rake it up. Yesterday he on the phone. 20, what's up with you? Like, talk to me. Like, what's going on? This what you should do. I'm going to link you with my partner. This how we doing money, bad yo. This how we, whatever you need, I got you. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? And what is that from? Like, he don't know me from growing up. Mm -hmm. But God, he just know when I when I sat in the studio with him for a week, I didn't give him no different energy than I'm giving you right now. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? When I when I talk to you in here, I took my shades off because I want you to like really like, <laughs> like I'm here, bro. Like I'm here with you. No, exactly. like no full gazy. Like, yeah. like just being here. And I think being humble, working hard, great music is always key. So don't let nobody tell you that. The great music and you know, 12 a.m. in Atlanta on the way, Gangsta Grills. It's coming, and what you like is going crazy. I might have to drop a remix on that, mm -hmm. too. Like, I might like, wait. I've been thinking of some dope names, but yeah. we just going to see what come through. Now, your business mind, though, 20, I done talked to a lot of folks, and they ain't worried about their business, man. Talk to me about what makes you decide to put business first. Well, put it like this. Put it like this. When I was in Atlanta, like, it, it's got a lot better, like, I was always, even when I was here, like, mm. put it like this. I wasn't signing a scrap mm. back when I was with him. But I used to ask, like, yo, when do I get my paperwork? To be honest, even back then I would have probably signed a six-album deal, exactly. not knowing. You know what I'm saying? But look look what being really real, like, got me. Like, no, yeah. God said me that you're not signing nothing. Exactly. And they're not going to give you nothing. Because that ain't what you supposed to do. Church. You know what I'm saying? But what JD got around me, I'm like, yeah, I hear you talking about you going to manage me and stuff. I get paperwork? Yeah. Is there any paperwork involved that shows me, like, what 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 you going to, like, that this is real? Exactly. Like, putting this on my hand, this social death tattoo makes sense? Yeah. It, like, like, show me something. So, I was always on paperwork. Yo, yeah. is it an advance? Is there any money that I could go home and show mine, like, I'm really doing this? Exactly. So, I always had that, but then... Moving to LA and get a new management, Mike right here. Mike yeah. managed me and Tokyo, and we got the other team. Mike was putting me on the on the on another level of yeah. business. Like, yeah, it's cool. Like, I was always on some like. After I left the Strappy situation, I was like, I'm not doing nothing without no paperwork, no more, no nothing. Yeah. The step up from there is like, I'm like, well, what's a business like? What's a business account like? Like, you, there was no purpose in me having a business account in Atlanta. I was managing it. I was managing 400 a week. <laughs> what he going to do for me? <laughs> like, what, what is he going to do for me but tell me to, like, I don't make know. Make more money. Yeah, like, like you got to make more money before you can even talk to me. So yeah. now that I'm in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a lane with that, I still got, I'm going to always have, like, the, 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 the street side of me where it's like, just go get it. Yeah. Go get it. I don't care what nobody tell you. I'm not turning down a dollar. If a nigga told me to come over to the east side right now to listen to his partner mixtape for exactly. 800, but we about to go collect that 800. Exactly. Because I want a Fendi headband. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want things I want nice things So it's like We can't sleep Like when yeah. people are asleep When I'm going to different cities Working I'm up on my phone Trying to find a video Gotta pull up to shoot another mm. video Like yeah. You gotta outwork Everybody around you Right now I'm looking for somebody Who outworks me You gotta outwork me You gotta do 10 times faster than me Before I could even get to it You gotta be like, well, I did that last week <laughs> The check already in your account Exactly That right there is like Oh you're impressive You're a keeper you're impressive because <laughs> I'm 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 that way. Like mm -hmm. I'm that way with the people around me. Like, hey bro, you on a flight in the morning. Hey, you come here, you, we got this. Oh, I'm flying you out to the festival, you doing two songs. Oh, but I don't have the I've already taken care of it. Like we are just come, go with the flow. If I call exactly. you, let's just go do it. When I talk to Tokyo, Tokyo like, babe, you don't think I should put this out like this? I'm like, listen, listen, you are bigger than what you think you are. You a star, bro. Yeah. Like, if nobody tells you, like, tell like tell your homies and tell your dogs and tell your family. Like, if, if you married, like, mm -hmm. tell your girl, like, you the baddest on, that man. I ever. If your dog is doing well and you not doing well, still take the time and be like, hey, bro, you fucking them up, though. Come you on. killing them. Like, you killing them and keep killing them. Like, I look at Tokyo. There's been times I looked at Tokyo with his head down and I'm looking at him like, nigga, put your head up. Exactly. You a star. Come on now. Like, like these people in this room, when you go out there and do north side cool and short, they about to scream at you a star. So yeah. don't move anything less than a star. And if you do, I'm not talking to you. Because I only want bosses around me. Don't put That's no. Right. I'll call my manager and he'll send somebody on the road with me. <laughs> Nigga, don't put no worker around me. Exactly. I need a boss around me. Don't put no worker around me because I need to be able to have a conversation with somebody that triggered a million dollars in the car, exactly. not somebody that's just like more cream. Exactly. No. Exactly. No. You ain't no. never lied. No, we got to sit and talk to 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 the highest person that works around me. To my assistant. Me and my assistant have conversations about creative development and videos. Like, mm -hmm. technically, he could just get the water for me. Like, but yeah. he's sitting there like, nah, bro. Like, are you fine. sure? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And everyone around me 
has a role, even if your role is just to be around me and tell me, no, don't do that. Don't wear them jeans. I'm <laughs> telling you, don't wear them jeans. Like, or, or just like, bro, I'm with you. Whatever you need, I got you. I'm your right-hand man. That's get right. your team together. Get everything together. There's new music coming. Tokyo on the way in two days. Uh, me and Draw, I'm about to drop something. More from Private Club Records, more from the team, and whatever. I'm glad you had me up here, bro. Man, no problem. Whatever man. you need, I've been watching. Put it like this, and this is what I like to do because Talk I'm gonna pay you. homage to you. Oh. I've been watching your videos since I lived in Atlanta. Uh. Since I lived in, I used to wonder, and I used to ask other people that we're we like we go through our phone. We probably got 80 numbers, same number. Yeah. I used to ask, them, hey, plug me with bro. Hey, like I want to go up there and do this. Oh yeah, I, I hit him. We gonna just see what's <laughs> up. He gonna hit you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but but that's but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Where it's like. I was a fan to where when you hit me, mm. I just got done watching the Scotty ATL video. I just watched the whole thing. He introduced the team. I saw the whole thing. I saw mm. you. I was watching. I, I yeah. check on you. I look at your stuff. Appreciate so it, when man. I saw that and I saw the DM, I'm like, hello. <laughs> hello. I went straight to the email. Cece, give me your number because I've been ready for this. Yeah. I've been ready. And now we, you feel me? Well, you've been jamming too, man. <laughs> and I mean, that dog on what you like, boy. Hey. That's one of them ones. That was one of them songs when I first heard it because Cannon was breaking that thing over that Shade 45. He was, and I was seeing And when videos. I heard that, I was like, ooh, whatever, whoever this is is jamming. Then I didn't even put it together that Riz and 24 were the same person. Hello. <laughs> then, I, then I'm looking at it and I'm like, now that man, he looks like Rose Rush Rizzy. <laughs> see, I, see, only my family, and this is what I say, because it's family, like, this is my first time, like, getting to interview you. Mm. But anybody who could sit there and say Rolls Royce Rizzy, <laughs> not just Rizzy, not just Royce Rizzy. If you say Rolls Royce Rizzy, that's 10 years plus. <laughs> Come on, man. That's 10 Come years on, plus. Man. <laughs> like, you already everything. know. Like, that's the real. So, man, I appreciate it, man. Man, no problem. Appreciate you coming through this thing, my, my dog. dog. Wish you nothing but the best and much for success. Sure, for sure. Be high radio. Shout it. It's Hot 107.9, man. Let's go.